took us four attempts in Washington to get one for the United States. 1884, the International Meridian Conference establishes the Prime Meridian at Greenwich, but before that, of course, we've already had four different meridians. The first one was part of the original plan of Washington, D.C. by Pierre L'Enfant, and it set the longitude of the, cap the top of the Capitol building at zero degrees uh, longitude. Many early American maps reflect that. The second principal meridian was the, the axis of symmetry of the White House, and this is uh, one that's still very much evident. It's followed, it follows the center of 16th Street as it goes north uh, through Washington. Uh, if you follow it north, you'll go up the length of 16th Street, and you'll arrive at Meridian Hill Park, where the one and only original monument uh, was torn down uh, 100 years ago to make, uh, to make way for the road. If you go south from the axis of symmetry of the White House, you pass the uh, zero milestone marker, and you, you're in the land of the Jefferson Monument, the Jefferson Memorial. Halfway between those, right in front of the Washington Monument, is this thing, the Jefferson Stone, which was the original marker for the second uh, prime meridian. The third, they decided to move it to a place of observation. They moved it to the old Naval Observatory, a little bit further west. And that line is today commemorated by a marker and a line on the sidewalk on the campus of George Washington University. Number three is important because it was used to determine the, the parallels, the, sorry, the um, meridians that we used to, to map these states. So it, uh, it's reflected, it's, it's actually three seconds off from Greenwich. And finally, we've got our act together until 1919 or 1918, uh, the principal meridian in Washington. Uh, pass through the United States Naval Observatory, uh, which is a little bit further uh, off to the west of the original meridians. It actually, uh, the, the roads there make a circle, and it was the dead center of the circle, which is actually a hut uh, containing the universal time clock, was the marker for the principal meridian. So that's the four meridians.